Tell me if you like the collar popped or like down more. Because I feel like the collar popped gives like more Diana vibes. You know what I mean? She, she, she. It's hot as heck in this room. My hair is usually up and I want it to be up, but I'm doing a hair video today, so it's down. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Biz if you're new here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you that chooses to come back and hang out with me every week. Really, truly from the bottom of my heart, I cannot believe that my little channel has already grown so much in just the last few months. So I appreciate each and every one of you that hits that subscribe button. And if you haven't done so, please do so. I would love to have you along on this YouTube journey. My name is Biz, like I said. I have been living in South Korea for the last nine months and we will be here until August of 2024 and I like to make content about our life here, the day to day life and just like hanging out with me, those sorts of things. If that interests you, if you'd like to know what my fam's up to, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'd love to have you along on the journey. Let's get started with today's video. I've been living in Korea, like I said, for the last nine months. And with that comes all of these kind of like beauty challenges because the water in our apartment and the water all over, this is a problem with everybody who's been here with us thus far. People post about it in the Facebook support groups all the time of like, my skin is so dry, my scalp is so dry, my hair is falling out. What is happening? What is going on? How do I fix this? And so I have been trying to find the best formula that works for me, for my scalp, because I was just having a mother truck in time with it. I felt like I was losing way more hair than normal, even though I know that's normal postpartum, to almost two years postpartum. So I was like, I don't think it should be shedding quite like this anymore. And my scalp was so itchy. It would like it was so itchy that it was like driving me crazy like it would really just like set me off <laughs> like I could there's nothing I could do to help it and I finally found something to help my scalp thank god let me take you on this journey of what I've been using half of these products are Korean products and half of these products are from the United States at Sephora is where I got most of the Actually, it was Sephora is where I got all of my products from the US and then Olive Young is where I got all of my products from Korea. But I do believe there's one brand in particular that I'll talk a lot about because I use like three of those products in my routine that can also be found on Amazon if that's your vibe. So without any further ado, let's just get into it. First things first, you got to wash your hair. It is such a bummer when it's a wash day because I hate washing my hair because then I have to commit to not the washing part but the freaking drying part so that is what takes the most time ever especially with how humid it is here it gets so humid so early on that I feel like the drying just takes even longer I will get into drying tips and tricks after I get into the full routine okay because I want to take you from like top to bottom this is what I'm doing in this order with these products so number one it's a wash day First, because it's a wash day and I don't wash my hair every single day, I am going to use my exfoliating scrub for my scalp. This is from the Inky List. I got it from Sephora. It is called the Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Scalp Scrub. And this, my friends, is what has been the biggest life-changing thing <laughs> in my life for my scalp. It it works so well it is a scrub warning if this gets in your mother trucking eye oh my god flush it out flush it out flush it out as much as you can because just the tiniest bit in my eye whole thing on fire i thought i was gonna go blind and it happens every freaking time because you're in the shower water's flying all over you now that i'm telling you how to do this i'm thinking maybe i should just like turn the water off when i'm applying this <laughs> and maybe that would save me a lot of pain but here we are babies, we're just <laughs> moving forward. You put it on, you'll feel the beads. It's a serum with beads in it. You put it on all over. Scrub, 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 scrub. I like to go in and use this kind of tool, which I got from Olive Young, to scrub it in as well. And I'm like going deep. Like I don't want any part of my scalp to be untouched with this because 
it has really truly been so magical you leave this on for 10 minutes so this is the first thing you do in the shower when you're washing your hair because it's taking 10 minutes it's taking your whole shower okay especially if you're a mom and you have to do quick showers this baby goes on first so you leave it in for 10 minutes and then you just rinse it out you'll rinse it out with the water and wash your hair like normal so with a shampoo right the shampoo i'm using is this one this brand is a Korean brand, but you can find it on Amazon. It's called Mormo, M-O-R-E-M-O. -E Everything will be linked down below. I do not make any money, so don't worry about that. Nothing is affiliated link, so just spend your money how you want to spend your money. So this is a caffeine biome shampoo, normal to dry scalps. The caffeine in it is what helps kind of like exfoliate and invigorate. I don't know really how else to, to describe it, but I do know like Caffeine and ginseng are two things that are used in skincare to help brighten and to help like keep things youthful and hydrated a little bit. That's what I imagine is happening in this um, shampoo. I love this so much. It even says on here that it helps to relieve hair loss. I don't know if that's true. The one thing I learned from working at Aveda was that you can't actually stop or reverse hair loss but you can slow it down and you can also keep the hair that is still growing healthy and keep it longer if that makes any sense there's nothing that's going to bring back the hair that you lost but you can hold on to what you have for a little bit longer and keep it healthy and strong and going and so that is probably what this is all about i've washed my hair now i have to condition my hair in the winter i do two steps now it's kind of like summer i don't need the extra hydration because of the humidity so i'm just going to use the same brand mormo the hair treatment miracle times two conditioner love this so much also all of young i think also found on amazon just like a regular conditioner it's just like really thick though like it's a, it's very much like a cream rinse in your hair so then in the winter this was actually like the first hair product i experimented with when i was like something's going on here this is so dry and i can't i can't live like this but this is the mormo water treatment miracle 10 also at all of young i think also on amazon this is like crazy how well it works i loved this product and i was just using this with like regular shampoo and conditioner until i started to see more problems over time with just the way that the water is here but after you shampoo i'm gonna let you make that decision based on like playing around with your own hair because that's what i had to do was it worked great by itself it was a little bit much with this conditioner but with a regular conditioner it was fine so like you're gonna have to play with that yourself i'm not an expert when it comes to hair and that sort of thing but you put it in your wet hair after you've shampooed you squeeze i okay this is not a twisty so i can't show you you would like at the ends only do not put this on your scalp or you're going to be greasy and then comb it through so i have i've got a brush in the shower and i brush it through just the ends i don't bring the brush up to the scalp like i said you don't want it to be oily you leave it in only 10 seconds i like to leave it in a little bit longer so i'll like shave my legs or something and then wash it out and it just leaves it so silky smooth amazing so now we're out of the shower and we've got to put some other stuff in because nothing can come to us that easy we can't just air dry our hair anymore i used to love air drying my hair i never would use a blow dryer and i would then i would curl it and those sorts of things but like here in korea that is not the life for me anymore or my hair ends up this big and so frizzy and ugh. i step out of the shower i dry off with a cotton t-shirt and then i put in the jvn complete air dry cream okay put that in a few scrunches i think this one is like use as much as you think you need because it's buildable yeah so this one says use as much as you think you need. It's a buildable product. You, I scrunch it in and then I kind of like brush it through. And then I'm that's when I am gonna put it all on top of my head in the cotton towel and let it just dry a little bit, get some of that extra water out. And after like probably 10, 20 minutes, I take it out and I follow it up with the Heat Care Quick Dry Mist. This is from Olive Young. This is a Korean product. It is by the brand jh and i'm not sure if that is short for something and i just need to know what that is i will look into this and obviously link it down below 
for you guys if you're interested but this is a game changer so this you spray everywhere and it just helps your hair dry faster than it normally would which is so crazy to me lift it up spray 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 spray, spray and it's just gonna help your hair dry faster whether it's air dry or with a blow dryer if you've seen in my like top 10 favorites from March I think it was I mentioned this product so I stopped blow drying my hair like with a normal blow dryer and started using the Revlon blow dryer brush and that's what I use to dry my hair and I brush it through and I feel like I can this is faster and I feel like it accomplishes way more than just the blow dryer the blow dryer took forever and so like this is giving me a little bit of volume it's giving me shine it's giving me bounce and then I go in and I straighten it. After my hair is dried, I go in with a final finishing product for just the ends, the mid, like not even full mid, cause I don't want this near my scalp or my face or anything like that cause it's gonna be too heavy. So like probably here, down, basically the ends with the JVN Nourishing Shine Drops. So this is gonna give you shine. It's gonna make it smell gorgeous. It smells like roses, I do believe, is the fragrance. Color say sulfate-free, silicone-free. It's vegan and made with clean hemisqualine. And I don't know what that part means, but the rest of that sounds delicious. So God bless JVN. God bless Queer Eye for giving him a platform and he can come in and save all of our hair. So this has been a great addition to my entire routine <laughs> so and that's after you're done styling and everything like that so don't put heat on top of that if you're going to straighten your hair straighten it first and then put in the oil because that's just going to damage your hair but if you put heat on that oil and it's also probably going to damage your tool so just don't do that and then for styling just like a little extra tip if you feel like you need some more volume because i feel like definitely on days that i haven't washed my hair and i'm just kind of restyling I need more volume, I need more zhuzh. I add the Briogeo, I think it's how it's called. But this is a volumizing root powder. It's got ginseng and biotin. It smells really good, it's really easy to use. It's a powder. Put it up the root, dab, 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 on the root. <laughs> and volume. And then just play around with it as you need. So there you go, that's my routine. Pretty quick, pretty simple, quick and dirty for you. I'm sorry if that felt too fast. I do apologize, I am kind of a fast talker. That is what's been helping me out so much in South Korea, having to battle other elements. The air quality, the pollution, the hardness of the water, it's a lot on the body, especially if you don't come from a space that has a lot of that going on. I had to really work on my skin as you guys have seen that evolution. I am going to put out a skin routine for summer, probably around July, August for what that routine is going to look like because right now we're focusing on my last one and I'll link that up here. If you'd like to see that video of my spring skincare routine, I have that available for you. With all of these new like challenges of living here in the environment of South Korea, I had to find a new routine for my hair. I couldn't just do like the bare minimum anymore because I, I mean I was really into it when I worked at Aveda in San Francisco. But after I left the salon, I only kind of kept up with using Aveda shampoo, conditioner, and then like I love their sea spray. I can't remember what it's called, but I can see the bottle. It's purple with pink writing. And I love the damage control nourishing cream. I love that as well. And the blue bottle, the whole blue line, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's light blue line at Aveda that is all has heat protectant in it. It's like the smooth line, something like that. I loved their heat protectant cream as well. Those were like kind of the only things I was still using because to be quite honest, it's because I didn't have access to the back bar prices. So I couldn't, I didn't want to drop that kind of money on hair products if I didn't necessarily need to but now i definitely need to she needs some help she also just needs a trim but i don't have anybody to do my hair anymore because she pcs that's okay that's a tale for another time now that i'm done rambling to you Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions at all, feel free to put them in the comments down below. If there's anything you'd like me to cover, put that down in the comments below. I'd love to do a video for your guys' specifications. If you have questions about living in Korea or if you want me to go try something for you guys, let me know all about it. I would love to do that for you. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd love to have you along on this YouTube journey. 
and I will see you in the next video. I'm really on fire tonight. Can't nobody hold me down. I'm doing whatever now. Ain't got no time to fight. I'm talking way too loud. And if you don't like the sound, you could just tune it out.